Would you buy the world's first laptop with an e-ink paper screen? No. <laughs> Okay. so quick <laughs> next I story <laughs> i can't watch like a like have you ever tried to watch a video on e-ink i don't think there's no way for that you can do that the, re the refresh is so slow oh. it doesn't really work unless there's some amazing new i would if it was just black and white but it yeah. operated like video possibly for like some insane battery life what okay. if it was just like news and answering emails no for sure it's useful and it's like a hundred bucks and the battery lasts forever yeah. and you can see it in direct sunlight like there's advantages don't get me wrong for reading the benefits of electronic paper make the uni unique display technology the ideal choice for reading they've allowed for e-readers kindles and kobos there's a team from boston called modos currently developing the paper laptop uh, they didn't make any mention about adopting color e-paper either, by the way, which are a thing that is starting to come out recently. Mm -hmm. uh, so for email, what do they say? Email spreadsheets, word processing, and other text-focused tasks, e-paper excels. Yeah, agreed. But the problem is, are we supposed to have an extra device here? Because what about all the other things you do on a laptop that aren't those things exclusively? Go ahead and play the video. Let's see the refresh if they were able to improve on that. Yeah, be, I the whole thing has to refresh every time. Go ahead and are they going to scroll or do anything on this page or no? I believe so. I think they're talking about Sample, it. Sample, and there is still a long way to go in both hardware and software. This is just kind of showing where we are right now, and it will not represent the final result. With these sorted out, let's take a look at the setup. So we have an ink screen, 13 inch one here, and it's connected to our driver board. The driver board is USB is just for power for now, and the display port connect to this PC for obviously the image data. And we are currently running it in the mirror mode. So both are showing the same image. Oh, okay. And it's running at 1600 by 1200 resolution. And we can already, you know, use it to... Yeah, it's better than anywhere. than the tech I've seen in the past. It's a lot faster. Yeah, Way it's faster. It's pretty fast. And it's not constantly refreshing. Uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would assume you could reach some nutty battery life potential with that because those displays are so power efficient. It's pretty good with uh, the refresh. That's right. Um, definitely not video, though. I think it'll be a head. Oh, here's... This is what the video looks like, yeah. So it's a compromise for sure. That's but like with a little bit of life. color, yeah. I don't know, man. If Better. listen, if you're like writing a book or something, and you're you want to be by the pool, and you don't care about watching video, go for it. Could be useful. It has its advantages, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at?